forget you Zimbabwe Bel Africa Mama Africa Mama Zira Mabila I cannot forget you Zimbabwe Bel Africa Mama Africa Zira Welcome to Nollywood Radio France, your host is Cyprian Johnson. This program has been brought to you by Cyril Ebay, our US-based editorial consultant and foreign editor for Nollywood Croissants magazine. Additional support is provided by our partner, Oba Odi Omondiwe, Goodwill Ambassador, Nollywood actress, singer, songwriter, humanitarian and victim advocate. Please stay tuned. In this podcast, we bring you an exclusive interview with Nollywood star Miss Ameze. Please stay tuned. Many producers and directors are working very hard to increase visibility of Nollywood movies among Nigerians and other Africans in the diaspora. Why this push? You know, we, we, we talked about, you, you talked about um, Nollywood USA, this, the, the, what, what the question is all about, you know, in, yeah. in the diaspora, yeah. Um, why the push? Yeah. Um, identity. Ah. Identity. The target, the predominant target market and target audience for that genre of movie are Africans, mm. you know, and, and 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 if we as a people don't celebrate it and um, accept it and nurture it and water it to grow and claim it and become um, our identity, well, no one else is going to. Mm. Everyone talks about Hollywood. We talk about Bollywood. Mm. So um, Africans and Africans in diaspora also have to celebrate their own, yeah. have an identity, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and, and 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 that's why you have Nollywood factions here and there, different parts of of the world. You have Nollywood friends, which you are representing. <laughs> <laughs> we have Nollywood USA. We yeah. have, you know, and and then we're going to have different pockets of them coming up, I, I see that happening. Mm. And why? It's because um, a lot of our people, when you're away from home, you're homesick. Yes. You know, you are homesick. And I, I mentioned like in your place, you're from um, a predominantly English speaking part of the world, yeah. you know, and yeah. now you're growing up, especially in your case, yeah. where it's Francophone. Francophone. French speaking. Yeah. So I can imagine they welcome this even more. They embrace it like, yes, oh, yes. now that's not to say movies done in in, in French are not appealing. They, yes, are. Yeah, they are, but yeah. it's they're more in they're more in number than mm. English speaking. Mm. So when you see this, so there's also that that um, excitement, like, oh my God, this is from home. This these mm. are my people, yes, you know. Yes, yes. So even if it's from Cote d'Ivoire, which is in French. Mm. But it's still from Africa, yeah. you know, and by Africans. Yeah. We also are creative people. Yeah. We have storytelling abilities. Mm. So we should celebrate Good. our creativity. Yeah. So there should be that push, yeah. you know. Yeah. There should be Indians are doing it, the Chinese yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we say Chinese, the Asians are Asians, doing it, yeah. you know. And um, so there's, there's the need for identity. I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. and, and we as filmmakers have to... We have to do that. We have to come to a point where our genre of movie can be imported mm. to where we are. So people take us, because we have to take ourselves seriously. Mm. If we don't, nobody else will. That's you correct. Know? That's correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, how do you plan to draw a big audience for I've Got Your Back across Nigerian diaspora communities in the US? Um... Social network, 
Mm -hmm. I will tell you that social mm -hmm. is big, mm -hmm. you know, especially for independent um, filmmakers like me. Uh, the social media helps mm -hmm. because gets in creating awareness. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of money. Mm, yeah. So when you can go grassroots, <coughs> you, know, um, you have to go grassroots anyway. You have to make use of everything at your fingertips. Mm. Social media, doing interviews like this, you yes. know. Um, and one thing also are um, Africans and Africans in that spur are doing also now is owning magazines and you know print media where you can get your voice heard mm. um word of mouth i will tell you word of mouth is powerful mm. it is powerful you know one person tells one person and one person you know it just goes it, it boils down to we've been proud of our product mm. and um getting people to <coughs> be proud of it and it just it, it, and that's how it snowballs mm. you know um so yeah, social media involve and then involve your players, your actors, the cast and the crew. Right. Okay. This is what this is this is our craft. This is what we're doing. Yeah. We've got to talk about it. Mm. Waking, sleeping, eating, drink, wherever you are, you're talking about your movie. Yeah. You know, you've got to do that. And that's one thing I impressed on my cast and crew. Mm. This is not my project, it's our project. Correct. You've got to know that. Mm. So we all make Make it, or it, 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 it's it's for us. If, mm. if we if, if this is successful, it is us. It's a it's also a, a, a hat, a, what a feather in your cap, yeah. so to speak. So yeah, so it's all, all hands on deck. It's, mm. it's, it's it's about it's it's about us. Yeah, involve involve everyone involved. Yeah. Yes, get involved. Yeah. So, what challenges do you foresee in winning Western audiences for I've got your back, Western audiences? Um, you, what are the challenges? Mm. Well, the big challenge actually, well, mm, let me see. First of all, it's actually a novelty. They're not used to it. It's still, mm. it's still new. Mm. It's still a new thing mm. to create awareness. And to create awareness, like I said earlier on, it's about, it's, it's the money. You know, you really, it will be nice. I would like a situation where <coughs> we can actually take it to their homes. Mm. TVs, mainstream, you know, movie theaters. Mm. We're, we're surely getting there, you know, and also involving them in our craft. Okay. Yeah. Inviting yeah. them. Yeah. Mm. Inviting them to our shows. Mm. Involving them in our movies. Mm. You know, mm. let them know. Mm. A lot of them are curious. If they don't know, it's because they they're not they're not aware of it. it. Where I live, I live in Ohio, in the United States of America, and one of the things I'm doing here is bringing Nollywood to this place. Okay. Um, and talking to people in the interviews I've done is, I mean, when I tell people, and, and Americans are welcoming. Mm. You know, they are. You know, if you tell them, you know what you're talking about, and you you let them know, hey, this is what's going on. They they mm. they're curious about all the cultures. Yeah. They are, they are. So it's all about packaging. It's all about marketing. Mm. So that the challenge is having to create that awareness. Yeah. Create that awareness, and we also need to make movies that make sense. Yeah. You know that they can um, they can understand. You know and can appreciate mm. um, our, our work, our mm. handy work. You know, mm. don't. I always tell people, don't don't try and do their movies. Do yours, yeah. the original. Correct. You know? mm. Yes. You've been listening to Nollywood Radio France supported by Nollywood Croissants Magazine and our partner Obaudi Owundiwe. Keep checking on this website for new episodes of Nollywood Radio France. Like us on Facebook. You can also log in to our website www.nollywoodfrance.com.